Howdy there gamers, it's me. Hope you're having a great day. Got another funny story where I've been bamboozled by my fucking college again, all right? So you remember last time I went in and uh, my lesson, I thought it was at 11 o'clock and it was actually at half one. Well, now I just went in, nine o'clock in the morning. Do, do you know what? Do, do you know what happened on that day? The college was fucking closed. I walk in, I'm the only student there. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then I find out my lesson is not on when I'm in the fucking classroom. So I have to walk all the way back fucking home. Now I know you're probably thinking, Fresh broccoli, you dumb piece of shit. You could have just read your email. Now look, I don't try to read my emails. In fact, everybody in the school is like, well, you need to read your fucking emails. Now look, I would if they didn't send me like the equivalent of the Harry Potter saga, consisting of just random crap that I don't even need to know about. So I'm just scrolling through, just digging through, trying to find the important shit. And it's just random stuff saying like, oh, guys, don't forget, mental health matters. You gotta stay happy. Like, thank you for sending an email about how my mental health matters, all right? I was depressed until you sent me this fucking email. Now I'm happy, all right? Look, maybe if you don't want kids to kill themselves, stop sending them a shit ton of emails, all right? By the way, I've got a sore throat and I'm making a video and going to college. Like, that's a Sigma male mindset, am I right? Anyway, I can't be fucked today, so to hide the tears, I'm gonna put the sunglasses back on. Remember when I wore these? No, you don't, because nobody watches my videos anymore. Nobody even watched my videos by then. Might as well just be talking to a brick wall. It's basically what YouTube is at this point. My channel is just a brick wall. Anyway, today we're making a video that one particular man has been asking for uh, quite a lot, all right? Now, uh, look, I'm finally doing the video, Jamie, so you can stop fucking asking now. Look, I, I know it took a while, but not everybody comes as fast as you, so, um, ah, oh, I feel so so good I can roast you now without you flinging shit back. But you can't fling much shit back anyway because you're constipated. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this way too much. This story is about <coughs> war. Basically, it's just war. It's a war story. It is my war story. Well, this story starts all the way back in uh, in uh, fucking February. I had just got my PlayStation 5. Sexy woman, don't you think? So yeah, I had just got that bad boy and uh, one of the things that comes with a PS5 is a free game. Now, the free game is Astro's Playroom. Astro's Playroom is pretty solid game to start you off on the PS5. I would recommend playing Astro's Playroom. Oh look, it's no Knack 2, but it's still pretty good. But yeah, I played Astro's Playroom, completed it. It was a uh, pretty good game. Then my friend got uh, a PS5 about a month later. I was happy that uh, I actually had a friend on uh, PlayStation 5 that uh, wasn't a weeb. Being around anime fans is fine and all, but there's only so much a sane man can take constantly listening to fucking JoJo quotes and down bad motherfuckers talking about Zero Two. Like, guys, did you know that if you went outside there are actually real women out there we started we started chilling out with the ps5 you know he was playing it and i was like oh have you played astro's playroom and he was like oh, i haven't i'll check that out so he started playing it and then he found the speed running part of the game got like the main levels and shit and then once you get to the end there are speed running levels and they've got some like levels you can do some speed running on it uh, you get the lowest time you get like seven minutes or something like a trophy i said oh why don't you go for that trophy it's pretty easy and he was like all right so he started playing those speed running shit he was, he was doing quite well because you know he does nothing but sit inside all day. He knows about like how to speed run and shit. But he finally does the speed running and then when he gets to the end he finds this thing called the leaderboard and it basically just shows him his time compared to his friends, all right? Jamie is a very competitive man, all right? He's so competitive, he will literally compare how big your shit is compared to his. So, you know, once the competitive side was introduced to him, he was immediately hooked. He was going through all of the speedrunning shit, you know, getting through it slowly. Now, like, I'm not gonna lie, I had pretty good times on this speedrunning shit, and so did our other mate. But Jamie sat there all day trying to beat our scores, and once I got home and uh, turned on my PS5, just came up with a bunch of notifications telling me that my scores on the speedrunning part of Astro player and being beaten by Jamie. It's like, no, I'm not fucking accepting this. Not from Jamie. No, 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 no. So I immediately turned on Astro's Playroom. Actually re-downloaded it because I had already completed it. I didn't want the game. I wasn't giving him the satisfaction of winning, okay? And that was my first mistake. I shouldn't have joined in the war. However, mate, he didn't join in the war. He just treated it like fun. But Jamie, Jamie was a competitive man. He wasn't stopping until he had the blood of everybody in Astro's Playroom. So I got on, immediately beat his scores, went to bed, and I just thought that would be the end of it, all right? But as soon as I get Get up. My scores had been beaten again, and I thought, this motherfucker really sat here this whole time playing just to beat me? Hey, bruh, he's got commitment. Still, I was pissed that my scores had been beaten. So again, I tried. 
but I failed. So I eventually passed. Now this lasted for about a solid week of us just constantly beating each other's scores, getting to the point where we were literally getting on like wild leaderboards and shit, like sweaty men sitting at home with like way too much time on their hands, playing it like fucking professionally on the wild leaderboard and there's just us two just fighting because, you know, we're just competitive. And the thing that kept me going is that every time I said, you know what, I think we should just close it down now, all right? But even was like, okay, and he would still go back and fucking beat them. I was like, this slimy motherfucker goes behind our back and betrays all of our peace agreements. I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with any of it. But, you know, obviously I kept on fighting. I kept on battling, all right? But, you know, he kept on coming back and beating my score. And I was like, no, can't be happening. Not to the point, generally couldn't beat his score. It, 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 it was just based on luck at this point. You'd have to get like certain jumps and just pray that they would go right or you'd just fucking fail. It'd become so fucking powerful that we just, we were just becoming impossible to beat. And, you know, I kept saying, you know, we should just keep it even. So then, like, the competitive nature isn't there. No, he, he still he still sat there for hours upon end just to beat our score. He had nothing better to do. You're the only one out of our friend group who's not into anime. And he spends all of his time sitting, playing Astro's Playroom. That's worse than having a fucking body pillow, in my opinion. Somebody has a body pillow in our group. And, you know, I'm not proud of telling you that. He had, uh, he, he had uh, done all the speed runs. He, he was winning, but it was only by a few milliseconds. But that was still winning. And so, he was just rubbing it in our faces, just going like, oh, look at me, I've fucking won, hey, fuck you. I've just spent hours upon hours playing Astro's Playroom speedrun just so I can fucking beat you. Well done, congratulations. That is quite the achievement. Obviously, I wasn't happy about losing simply because it was Jamie. And I was like, no, nah, this can't be fucking happening. Why is he winning? But yeah, still to this day, has higher scores than me because he sat there for ages just winning because he had nothing better to do. Yes, I am still salty, but one day he'll just be sitting at home doing nothing probably, crying. A notification will pop up on his PlayStation. Just lost your place on the leaderboard. I'll be there going like, fuck you, bitch. The moral of this story is don't use the leaderboards. Don't play Astro's Playroom speedrunning with your friends because there is a chance it will ruin your friendship. Yeah, one day. I'll get him back. Anyway, gamers, that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash like would be epic. Also, apparently some of you haven't been getting notifications for when my videos are released. You are going to subscribe. Susan loves bells. So, look, I really need you to click that fucking bell. All right, thanks for coming along, gamers. Have a great weekend. I'll see you later. Farewell. <laughs>